Namaste everyone, welcome back to Live Stronger. After yesterday's workout, my arms feel great. They are not extremely sore or tight. Maybe the delayed onset of muscle soreness will kick in later, but otherwise they feel fine. I did my static stretching and just before going to sleep, I just massage them with my own hands. Uh, today we are going to work on our shoulders again. So the dynamic stretches, warm up and our working sets. So without any delay, let's begin our workouts. So let's begin with our dynamic stretches. The greatest stretch as always. We'll do four to five repetitions each side. Let's commit to five. Making sure we feel the stretch in our inner thighs, our upper back, our quads, our hamstrings, our hips open up. Quite a few muscles. If you're someone who is way more flexible than I am, feel free to drop low. Um, by my drop low, I mean here. If you can touch your elbow on the floor, that's awesome. So do that. And if you're like me, let's keep practicing. <laughs> Just one more rep, each side. Just a deep squat to open up our hips. If you're unable to deep squat, just try to go as low as possible. Hold for a couple of seconds and we are done with our dynamic stretches. Let's go for our warm up. So for our first warm up, we, I'm laying down on a flat bench. Now you can choose to lay down on a yoga mat or on the floor itself. It's absolutely fine. I grabbed a couple of uh, very nominal, just 1.25 kilos to do my, I have done this exercise previously on the videos. So it's simple, you keep your palms facing to the ceiling, facing up and then slowly push them back, feeling your posterior chain activate on the upper back and the upper side of your shoulders. Pretty simple warm up. You should very quickly start feeling the warmth. I'll do 15 to 20 repetitions, depending upon when you almost feel like, okay, I can't do anymore. Okay, that was the first variation. Now for the second variation, we are going to bring our elbows beside us. So just like this. Okay. So imagine our elbows are here right now at 90 degrees and then we just simply raise up. getting tougher. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that was good. Feel my ray delts really firing up. So that's our first warm up. Now let's move on to our second warm up. Eight rotations around my head. You can do the exercise seated, standing. It's absolutely fine. Take a plate and take it around your head. Feel completing the range of motion of your ball and socket joint. So we do 20 repetitions. While doing this exercise, you might feel your rear delts really firing up thanks to the first warm up we have just done. to see from this side, it looks something like this. Just a couple more reps. And that's it. We are done with our second warm up. Now let's go for our third warm up. We are going to do uh, basically our rear delt warm up again. So I just taken, I have taken a band. Now there are multiple variations to do this. So you can, it's all about opening our rear delt without moving your elbows away from your body. You can do this on a cable machine one hand at a time. You can keep a, a, a towel between your body and the elbow to make sure your elbows stay locked in initially. So. While doing this exercise, you must feel the entire posterior of your shoulders fire up. They kind of lit up. You feel, start feeling the burn. Ooh, that felt good. So that's it. That's it for our warm ups. We're done. Now let's begin with our working sets. So for our first exercise today, I'm going to do the favorite torture of mine. I'm just kidding, it's no torture. It might be the favorite. So we'll start with our uh, lateral raises, but the ladder set style. I've done this in my previous video, but I'll show you, uh, just explain it shortly. Uh, you start with the lowest weight possible, and then without a break, you keep increasing the weight as long as your arms can no more move or your shoulders can no more lift your arm up. And then once you have reached that stage, you quickly start dropping the weight to go back to your full range of motion or almost full range of motion. So, yep, that's it. It's pretty easy in terms of how to do it. The challenging part is to do it. So let's begin. We'll start with 20, 15 to 20 repetitions with the lowest weight and then see how it goes. Let's begin. So I've taken just 2.5s. I'll do the ladder race, uh, lateral races, just keeping the, this is the range of uh, motion where I feel the most amount of contraction in my shoulders. So I'm going to keep, keep it here as long as possible. Make sure you feel the contraction only on your shoulders. The weight shouldn't shift onto your elbow joint. That's about it. Now I immediately shift to a little bit heavier weight. No breaks, remember? And let's go. Oh. 
already starting to feel that crazy burn. A little bit of burn transferring up my traps, but that's fine. Just that a little bit. So shifted the weight up a little bit. Now, as you can see, my range of motion is a bit compromised, but I can still move my arms. So let's keep going. Oh, that's done for this weight. Let's go for the next weight. Let's go. Much compromised, but still can move. So that's it. Now I start dropping the weight. If you are way stronger than me, please go ahead and keep climbing up the ladder. Don't have to come down. It's a painful, sweet pain, but still pain inducing. Let's keep going. It's, it's fine. That's what it's meant to do. Come on, we are still climbing down. Last. Keep going. Oh, that hurt. Taking the smallest dumbbells. Keep pushing. Oh, and done. So for my second exercise, I'm going to do front raises with my dumbbells facing up. That's my palms facing up. Like this variation because I feel a lot more uh, activation in my front delts when I place my palms facing up. Trying to get in the range of 10 to 12 reps using a light weight, nothing extremely heavy, making sure my form stays perfect or near perfect. So just a few more reps and we are done with our first set. In between uh, exercises, when we are doing with shoulders, the break doesn't have to be long. It could be just 30 to 60 seconds and that's more than sufficient for shoulder muscles to recover. Let's go. For my second set, I have uh, increased the weight a little bit. I went from 2.5 to 5 kilo dumbbells. Making sure that I don't use the momentum here. Uh, by momentum, I mean the dumbbells coming down and using the same uh, force to push back up so I try to slow down as I come down as much as possible oh that was good so now we go on to our third set keeping the weights same uh, as second set which is 5 kilo dumbbells The little bit of uh, swing like action which you notice is not actually me swinging, it's just me pushing my chest a little bit forward every time the dumbbell comes down to create an extra stretch on my shoulders. Going. By now my shoulders were already on fire, the uh, oh. lateral raises, the front raises, okay. they were throbbing. But it's good, that, that means there's a lot of Oof, blood done. flowing into that muscle. And we are done with this exercise. For my third exercise, I'm going to do the uh, rear delt uh, raises. I don't exactly know what they are called or what is the exact exercise name, but it's just lying down on a uh, bench or, or on a chest support and 
pushing your arms behind your back holding couple of dumbbells creates a good amount of contraction in your rear delt cause the primary uh, primary action or the primary contraction of the rear delt muscle is to pull your arms behind so using a chest support not uh, compromise on my form i have done this initially without using a chest support with a bar you can do that if you are confident in terms of uh, leaning forward and not losing the balance but if you don't want that hassle you can simply lay down on on an inclined bench and do it the way i am doing it right here second set i increase the weight a bit my strength has definitely increased over the period of time so places where i can feel confident i push the weight as much as possible but in a controlled manner i never compromise on the motion of the exercise or at least my commitment to the range of motion and done with the second set now i move on to my third set again it could be quick succession uh, sections you don't have to necessarily uh, wait long amount of time for your shoulder muscle to recover in between sets 30 to 60 seconds of break is more than sufficient since because we are not pushing heavy weights we are using support so recovery should be on mark by now my shoulders now are completely on fire at all the three dimensions so good work without lifting heavy weights so shoulders worked on very well I'm getting my last few reps and we are done with this exercise for my next exercise i am going to do the donkey calf raises every set almost to failure by now if you are confident and if you have a weight belt which in future i'll be using and i'll be showing how it is used or a weight uh, weighted vest please feel uh, free to use it uh, i don't think weighted vest will make much sense here because the weight would still be transferred a little bit forward but uh, usually the way people load this exercise is by placing weights on their back uh, that requires a partner a partner's help i don't have a partner here so just going to stick to getting reps to near failure with my body weight and maybe later on use my uh, weight loading belt which i have we'll do that in future videos so i'm almost near failure that's one set we go again for our second set we have to make sure that our heels drop as low as possible when once we place our toes on a height our heels has to drop as low as possible to feel the stretch and from there when you push it's a lot of calf work which has to be done the calf has to do a lot of work to push you up all the way with your body weight leaning on to it almost near failure uh, in your second set you might not be able to get as many reps as your first set but near failure is our objective last few reps that's it we are done it's good calf exercise for my next shoulder exercise i am going to do the overhead dumbbell press yes we are not going to skip them a good compound exercise can be done while standing up demands a lot more core stability or if you're tired like i was here you can sit down use a back support and start pressing overhead make sure you keep your elbows close to your body not completely flared out they should be kind of in front of you 
this is the natural movement for your shoulders i was able to push a good amount of weight over my head i would take a short break and then for my second set using the same weight it might happen that you aren't able to push as much weight as previously you do because we have done so much of shoulder work already three exercises targeting all the three delts so strength might be a little bit compromised or you might be tired a little bit that's absolutely fine choose a challenge challenging weight still for my next shoulder exercise i'm going to do the bus drivers again i have no clue why they are called bus drivers i might be naming them wrong but that's what they are called basically turn a plate like a steering wheel and exaggerate the turn as much as possible causing a bit of internal rotation on your shoulders squeezing the front delt and since we are holding the plate just in front of us almost almost or actually at our eye level the bar hole of the plate stays at the eye level it's already very demanding for our shoulder so for second set keep going now for second set i instead of increasing the weight i started letting go of the weight at every turn with the other hand which is at the bottom bottom increasing the stress on the arm which is holding the plate up excellent finisher love this exercise for the amount of finishing touches it gives to my shoulder lot of activation of my front and lateral delt red delt is bit relaxed here it's working on stabilization but mostly front and lateral delts and from my last exercise i'm going to do the dead hangs we got to practice this every day now by now if you are able to hang for 100 seconds still keep doing it it's important that you uh, practice this particular motion on a regular basis if you want you can do it an alternative day but keep practicing dead hangs keeps your shoulder strong builds endurance in your shoulder improves the grip strength which is quite vital to remain injury free during falls i'm slowly mounting up my time in terms of the time i can hang a little bit uncomfortable with my calluses but that's the path as the way don't like wearing gloves never did so i'm just going to continue doing it bare hands now for finishing up my day i'll decompress my shoulders by doing small circles the important part of decompression is to make sure your hand feels like it is falling off as you reach towards the floor so you feel the ball coming out of the socket not literally just trying to imitate that both hands because of all the compression we have uh, or the all the compression we have put through our shoulders it's important to decompress post a good shoulder workout day the dead hangs also kind of decompress so that's the two decompressions we have done for today <laughs> that's it we are done with our straight uh, decompression so that's it that's a wrap for today my shoulders feel great uh, we did a quite a short workout but it was quite effective i made sure i was able to train all the three heads of my shoulder uh, the reason why i stepped out of the gym to give the closing is that the gym is pretty occupied today and it was busy uh, most probably i'll also be uh, doing a voice over for this video throughout my workout try to explain my level best but on that note uh, make sure you decompress the shoulder after the workout is done and uh, if you feel any kind of discomfort or tightness just try to massage it with your own hands and you should be fine so if you did like the video and enjoyed the workout please do like the video if you have any feedback regarding the workout or the program drop a comment if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe lot of positive feedback for me that is and 
yep that's about it you have a good day and i'll see you tomorrow